my strivings to have some kind of spiritual base were really, really strong all my life. And I think I tried to amalgamate my own bedrock of spirituality. I mean, I was a Buddhist on Tuesday, and I was into Nietzsche by Friday. Some time flirting with Buddhism and spending some time in a Buddhist retreat. I mean, I felt at the time that I was, you know, um, Buddha's answer to uh, uh, <laughs> everything he wanted man to be. But I mean, the one thing that hung over from that time was the feeling of, of uh, impermanence and transience. That was the one thing that, that, that really um, struck home about everything that I was learning. Uh, nothing's going to stay around very long. I mean, you know, everything changes, takes at different rates. Some seem to me sort of established for a bit, but they're only moving at a slower rate than other things. And, but they're, they're all inevitably sort of a, a change over. For me, there's always been a thread of uh, nearly um, a search. Generally, I think the subject matter has always come back to the singular question of nearly every artist, which is, what's my relationship with the universe? What, whatever other form it takes, that's basic. I think that's probably the essential question that all of us ask ourselves. A lot of us probably on that last few minutes. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to define the archetype Messiah rock star. That's all I wanted to do. And I used the trappings of kabuki theater, mime technique, and fringe New York music. Love, love me too. You know I love you. I'll always be true. Ziggy was, for me, a very simplistic thing. What it seemed to be, an alien rock star. But other people reread him and contributed more information about Ziggy than I had put into him. The artist doesn't exist. The artist is strictly a figment of, of the people's imagination. Dylan is, and, and Lennon is, I will be, Jagger is, they're all figments. They don't exist, none of them exist. Yes, they all of us exist. Right. We're in the twilight zone. And we're, we're the original false prophets. We are the gods. We're the new gods that were going to be you. We're going to help. <laughs> you know, we, set us, we set ourselves up as such. Right. We want it all. You know, we want all the adulation and people to read the lyrics and read and everything just to play the game. You know? I'll feel that same emptiness that they will feel when they get there. Because I know that it's not real. It's, not, it's nothing worrying. to do with them. No, it doesn't worry me at all. I'm not worried about it. I don't give a fuck if it blows itself up tomorrow. <laughs>